What's up, guys? Mike Patrick. This is going to be part two of the adult contemporary hip-hop. Okay, guys? When I was talking about that, so basically to finish it up, you know what I'm saying? Go check out the first video. It's probably like a few videos underneath this one, okay? Pretty much the same title. So um, the thing is, guys, look, with uh, adult contemporary hip-hop, it's all about now, it's all about how you have evolved or how you evolve your content it has nothing to do with the age because hip-hop just came about in like the late 70s early 80s okay so it's something new so the only reason people think it's a young man's sport is because it's a young art you see what i'm saying so therefore think about the people who first started hip-hop you see what i'm saying like as they evolve then it evolves with them it doesn't mean they have to stop doing it Okay, so you think of a singer, you wouldn't tell a person that they got to stop singing at a certain age, right? So the thing about it is, it's, it's about evolution. So look at what Jay-Z is rapping about now, as opposed to what a lot of 20-year-olds are rapping about now. But they all are still rapping, they both still rapping. But we always think it's a young man's sport because literally hip-hop might be 35, 36 years old. You see what I'm saying? And so... It has no choice but to have that young feel to it because it's new, all right? But you wouldn't, you wouldn't say as an example, okay, if humans are a new species, right, then you wouldn't say you can't be a human after 10 years old, okay? If humans just come about, then their lifespan is what it is, and you're going to say you can be a human for as long as your lifespan, for, for as long as you live. You would expect a person to evolve and to grow and to change okay with their experience and their their age okay so that's what it is with adult contemporary hip-hop so for all you guys who've always had dreams of being a rapper or something like that okay but you thinking you know you've been persuaded into thinking that you know well if i, if I haven't done this or that by a certain age for one do it because your heart, do it for the art, okay? Not necessarily because you think you're going to be the most famous rapper in the world and a, and a bunch of money. I know that that motivates a lot of people, okay? And that's the aim. But more so, look at it like it's an art, okay? And you mature and you make music according to your life, your mind, the evolution of your mind, and how you feel to express. And you can rap as long as you want to, okay? Now, it'd be different if rapping was around for, and it probably was around for millions or millions of years or whatever, but you know what I'm saying, like, so if if, if it was a, around for millions of years, you know what I'm saying, and it was a thing where you just stopped doing it, people stopped doing it by a certain age, you know what I mean, 20, 30, then you could say, okay, rapping is a young person's sport. But because it's only like 30-something years anyway, you can't expect, you know what I mean? That's all we knew for it to be a young person sport because it's not but so old in the first place, okay? But as you can see now, as rap gets older and as some of the pioneers of it is still rapping, they're showing you that as long as you're not trying to be, the, have the mind and the content of a 20-year-old, okay? See, what people make their mistake is, trying to be um, like a 20-year-old because they're rapping because they're under the persuasion that rappers have to be young. And so if you're going to do this, you got to be hip and young. No, you have to, you rap for your generation because now that it's been here for a little bit, and you got people that grow and evolve with rap. Now you got the people who, who grew up on rap in the late 70s when it first came out in the early 80s, right? And they still like hip-hop. They still... Got, like that vibe and that energy and that way of expressing, but they not gonna be they not gonna be interested in what was being talked about when they was thirty years old. That's why things change. You know what I mean? You gotta change with that. Like imagine somebody trying to rap like Curtis Blow now. Not to say it can't come back around because it does with fashion and everything like that. And so who knows? <laughs> it probably will be somebody eventually. Um, you know, I, say, I might even try to do it. You know what I mean? But try to infuse. The thing about it, it's about, like, alchemy, like, infusing. Like, it wouldn't be a bad idea to take that style sometimes. You know what I'm saying? But uh, intermingle it with 
new production and, and different production and make your own style. That's what it's all about. You know what I mean? Creating something new. Okay, guys? So adult contemporary hip-hop. For all you guys that love to rap, there's the, there's the gift right there. Like, don't but like I said, don't feel like you got to be 20 if you 50. You know what I'm saying? Rap about what you rap. Look at um Nas too. It's it's a bunch of it's a bunch of rappers still going now and they, and their music is still great because their content has evolved. Okay, and they still make music for people that's around their age. You know what I'm saying? And then even younger people may appreciate it. You know what I mean? And even older people that's older than the rap era who might be in their 60s, 70s might appreciate it. You never know. Once it, because it's the content. Okay, mature rap. All right, guys. Peace.